Analyzing heart clear. Rhythm. Clear. Everyone clear? Do not touch the patient. This 10th grade health class at the Pingree School in New Jersey is learning valuable life-saving skills, from CPR to using a defibrillator. The class has been mandatory in this school for over 30 years. It's an invaluable skill. You never know where you may be when someone has an emergency. And it's a really good feeling to know that you know the skills to be able to help someone. It's especially meaningful to these students. Several years ago, fellow classmate John Taylor Babbitt collapsed and died of a sudden cardiac arrest while playing basketball at a neighborhood gym. Sudden cardiac death claims the lives of nine out of ten of its victims, considered the largest cause of natural death in the U.S. John's family established a foundation in his name, dedicated to raising awareness and making a change. We started the foundation not only to honor John's memory, but also just to make sure that people were aware that there are things that can be done to prevent sudden cardiac death. The foundation really wants to get more defibrillators out onto playing fields and in the schools and make sure that training is available to all people that are going to uh, be able to use them. The foundation's efforts in New Jersey are already generating wide-reaching results. The Good Samaritan Law which grants immunity to anyone who attempts to use an AED in good faith. CPR and AED training now required in all New Jersey high schools. And implementing Janet's Law, sponsored by the Zelinsky family, which requires AEDs in all New Jersey schools, grades K through 12. An AED is easy. Open it up. Turn it on, number one. And listen to it. It's important for the youth, but it's important for everybody. If somebody goes into sudden cardiac arrest, we only have about two or three minutes to get going. The more people we can train, the better. Right now, if someone does suffer a sudden cardiac arrest event out of a hospital, they, the survival rate is only about 7%. Whereas in places where defibrillators have been known to be placed, um, studies have shown that that survival rate can be increased to like anywhere from 50 to 70 percent. The American Heart Association estimates as many as 50,000 deaths can be prevented annually with widespread training. Fast action and treatment can save lives. I was 13 weeks pregnant and I went to school actually to tell everyone that I was pregnant. Uh, didn't get the chance, had no signs or symptoms, was talking to a colleague, went down on the gym floor, and thankfully there was an AED and someone who knew how to use it. I was called to the gym to respond to a teacher who had collapsed. She was on the floor and appeared to be having a seizure. So what I did was turned her to her left side and that's when she turned blue. Immediately I asked for the AED and we applied it and it shocked her three times. At that point we realized that she needed to go to the emergency room. We also realized that our actions then saved not only her life but the life of her unborn child. As a phys ed teacher, I'm so incredibly thankful that the John Taylor Babbitt Foundation is working hard to get AEDs into schools and all places of public assembly because it's so important. You never know when you're gonna need it and it might just save a life or two. Now, each year, the foundation sponsors Walk With Heart fundraisers on school and university campuses, organized by student ambassadors and heart club members, keeping youth front and center of the campaign. I just think that the youth are definitely a great way to place to start because they're obviously the next generation. And um, if we get them on board, then eventually they'll, they'll get their parents, they'll get their kids, they'll get everyone that we should, we want to get involved involved. So we really feel like our kids are prepared to go out into the community and help someone who's having a medical emergency. When you take this class, you learn what to do in every situation. So you're always prepared. And you never know, sometimes in a situation, you will be the only one there. And in that case, it's a matter of life or death. And this year, a special honor. Fortune Magazine selected Dave Babbitt as Heroes of the 500 for the family's tireless campaign to prevent sudden cardiac arrest and in building a new generation of lifesavers.